I'm curious, what if we do the f of f of x? Well, the f of f of x would be 2 times 2x plus 1 plus 1. But what about the domain and the range of the composed function? Well, the domain of the f of x function is negative 3x between negative 3 and 3. x is between negative 3 and 3. And <clears throat> when I use those values, I get a range between negative 5 and 7. So when I use the function the first time, I'm going to get values between negative 5 and 7. And I'm going to try to put those values in as the domain values into the second f function. But there's a conflict there. The second f function, this one, won't use any values unless they're between negative 3 and 3. But the first f function is producing values between negative 5 and 7. And that's fine that it can produce those values, but the second f function can't take values unless they're between negative 3 and 3. So we need to make sure that the range values that are coming out of the first function are in between negative 3 and 3. So the f of x is 2x plus 1. And if we solve, we get negative 4 is less than or equal to 2x is less than or equal to 2, which means negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. So my domain for the composition is between negative 2 and 1. So let's see how that works. If I put negative 2 into the first f, f function, then we get negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3, which is allowable. And if I put 1 into the first f function, I get 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, which is also allowable. So then I can use values, those values into the second f function. So I know my domain is between negative 2 and 1. What's my range of my composition? Well, if I put in negative 2, I get negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3, times 2 is negative 6, plus 1 is negative 5. And if I put in 1, I get 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7.